A recent survey revealed that about 27% of respondents in the U.S. admitted to using melatonin as a sleep aid. I therefore know that there are millions of people looking for helpful and accurate information about melatonin. Is it safe to take short term? What about long term? What dose should I take? There are so many different strengths available. What time of night should I take it? I'm here to answer those questions for you. I'm Dr. Jeff Nupel. I'm a psychiatrist. So what is melatonin anyway? Melatonin is a hormone we all have in our brains. It's secreted by the pineal gland in response to our environment getting darker toward evening. It helps us shut down and initiate sleep. It also helps us regulate our circadian rhythm, which is our sleep-wake cycle. Therefore, the idea behind a melatonin supplement is that in the case of insomnia, it may help us to fall asleep sooner and in some cases stay asleep longer. And then for problems with our sleep-wake cycle, such as jet lag or shift work, where we want to fall asleep a few hours sooner than we normally would, a melatonin supplement may be helpful. So is melatonin safe to take on a short-term basis? The general consensus is that yes, it is safe, short-term at lower doses. The usual recommended dose of melatonin is between 0.3 and 5 milligrams at night. And if the five milligram dose isn't working, um, some people like to go up to 10. I would not recommend that people go beyond that though. If it's not working at that point, it's probably not going to work at a higher dose. It's important to take melatonin at the right time of the night. It's not a sleeping pill, it is a hormone. Therefore, you want to take it about an hour before you go to sleep. If you wait until closer to bedtime, it probably won't work as well for you. There are some short-term side effects that can occur, but they're usually mild and often temporary. It can cause a little bit of tiredness the next morning in some people. Headache, nausea, and dizziness also may occur. And what about long-term use? There are some concerns about long-term use and nobody can guarantee long-term safety. There are no known long-term harmful effects that I'm aware of, but there are a lot of concerns in the medical community about the potential for long-term harm from melatonin, especially at some of the high doses that people are taking today. What's happened is, in the US, melatonin is a dietary supplement. It's not a prescription medication like it is in a lot of countries. Therefore, it's not regulated by the FDA, and some of the doses that are available today are much different than they were in the early 2000s. So in the early 2000s, the doses I used to see in the store were 0.3, one milligram and three milligram tablets. Now the doses are more like five and 10 and sometimes 20. And then I looked on Amazon today and saw doses as high as 60 milligram tablets, which I would never take. There's just too much uncertainty when you bombard your system with a hormone like melatonin at such a high dose. So I would definitely not recommend that anybody do that. The other thing to keep in mind is since these are dietary supplements in the US, there's not good quality control with some of the supplements. And studies have looked at these supplements to see how much melatonin is actually in the tablets versus what is advertised. And there's been quite a bit of variability found. Sometimes you're getting less than you think you are, and other times you're getting more. There have also been other compounds such as serotonin found in some melatonin supplements. That just introduces one more unknown variable so what might be some of the long-term harmful effects of melatonin? Well, we don't know for sure, but the natural production of melatonin in our brains might be disrupted. There are a lot of feedback loops in the body, and when a level of something in our bodies runs very high for a long period of time, it often affects the feedback loops and there will be less of that substance produced. Dependency and tolerance is another concern. And I don't mean addiction in the sense that you're going to crave melatonin and want more of it, but more in the sense that you might get to the point where you can't sleep without a super high dose of a melatonin supplement. It's possible that the natural sleep-wake cycle of the body, the circadian rhythm, may be disrupted. It's also possible that it could disrupt the hormone levels of other hormones in our bodies. That is actually the biggest concern I have about high-dose melatonin especially over a long period of time. We just don't know what all of the downstream effects are going to be. There could be a lot of unhealthy, unintended consequences from high-dose melatonin. It's also possible, too, at the higher doses, we're going to be more likely to see 
interactions with prescription medications such as blood thinners or immunosuppressants. So I think melatonin, if it's used short term and lower doses, isn't so much of a concern. But the high doses that are available today are not necessarily safe. We just don't know. And I think it's too risky to take those doses. I would not recommend that most people take more than 10 milligrams a day of melatonin. And if you have any questions about your own medical care, because your care should be individualized for you, you really should talk to your own healthcare provider and have a conversation about melatonin and whether it's right for you and what dose they would recommend to you. I hope this video was helpful for you today. If you could please hit the like button so that it can be shared with other people who have similar concerns, that would be awesome. Have a great day and I'll see you at the next video.